The Tennessee Titans roll into Green Bay this week, ready to see if their defense can flex on another O. Firing downfield, it's tipped and intercepted by Mitchell, and the Titans are going to win this football game. They take on a Packers team that's not ready for the cart just yet. They feel plenty happy and might go for a walk. Kick is up, and it yes! is good! Not many people were willing to predict a Green Bay win last week. As a matter of fact, just one on our 10-person panel. <clears throat> Crazy. And so was Green Bay's OT comeback versus Dallas. So now you have a Packers offense that finally clicked, putting up 31 points on a defense that was supposed to dominate them. And he's got the rookie over the yes! catch to the end zone. It is a touchdown for Christian Watson and a backflip. Facing a Titans defense that has allowed more than 22 points only once all year. Held Denver to 10 points last week. That's the third team they've held to 10 in three of their last four games. Wilson under pressure again, steps up, ran from behind. In their latest dominant defensive showing, sacked Russell Wilson six times. That's impressive. Wilson takes the snap, looking left, looking right. Hit, sack, oh, oh, yeah, oh, right But most impressive, they hit him 18 times. He dropped back 48 times. They pressured him 47.9% of those attempts. Wilson in trouble, stepping up. Wilson, sack! This defense is playing with everything they've got. So here comes Aaron Rodgers and company. Aaron, what were you so upset about in the last round of regulation there coming up? Just every single play call, probably. Fresh off a game where he was facing the number one pass rush in the NFL. You know what he did? He handed it off. Green Bay looked at the opponent, 39 rush attempts, 20 pass attempts. Aaron Jones close to 140 yards on the ground, 5.8 a carry, a touchdown. He's hitting at 5.6 per run in 2022. It won't be easy for him to lead the way again. The Titans didn't have any issues along the ground in Week 10 versus Denver, held them to 2.6 a carry, holding runners to four a run for the year. Here's Gordon. The battle in the trenches when Green Bay throws will be intense. A-Rod got sacked two times versus the Cowboys, but he only got hit three times and only pressured 22% of his dropbacks. Did I already mention that was against the top pass rush unit in the league? Snap, Rodgers steps up looking. Lost his goal. Oh, that's how he got Watson again. Touchdown, Green Bay. With less pressure, Rodgers was able to make his 20 attempts count. 11.2 yards per attempt, a rating of 146.7, three touchdowns, no INTs. Best game he's had in 2022. I felt like I threw the ball just about exactly where I wanted to. I don't think Rodgers could have walked out and handed him the ball in a better spot. This ball just hits him dead in the left arm, but watch, that's a heck of a pass. He relied on rookie Christian Watson last week. Three touchdowns, and it could have been more. Fake handoff to Jones. Rodgers throws it up to the end. He's got it, man. Touchdown, Christian Watson, for the third time today. If Watson is deemed to be the WR1, then he will draw Tennessee cornerback Christian Fulton. His rating allowed just 65. Quick throw on the outside for Kelsey. Batted away by Fulton, who came in and popped Kelsey and got the ball out. Titans have played the pass well overall, too. 90.6 rating against is solid. Nine INTs. It's a very complete defense. Throw into the near side and intercepted. Picked off by... Christian Fulton. That is simply as good as you could possibly play that route. When Green Bay is on defense, they know it starts with them having to do their best White Walkers impersonation. Gotta stop the King. Henry averaging over 100 yards per game, 4.6 a run, nine trips to the paint. Touchdown, Titans! That was a fan size run by the man, Derrick Henry! What a great run by Derrick Henry. He doesn't come in with mojo, though. 53 yards last week, held under three yards per carry. Henry. Big hit. And no gain on the play. All right, Packers, what do you got? 4.8 yards per carry. That's what Green Bay has given up overall to runners. 5.1 yards per carry. That's what they gave up to Dallas last week. 5.1 yards per carry. That's what they've given up to running backs in 2022. 
This would seem to represent a mismatch, on paper at least. Randolph goes to Singletary again, breaks free, 30, 25, cutting it back left to the 20. That horse was out the back door of the barn. Tighten Up wants everyone to know, though, hey, we won without Henry blowing up. Yes, Ryan Tannehill returned last week, 255 yards through the air, two touchdowns, 94.1 rating. Nick Westbrook Aquina with close to 120 yards. There's Westbrook Aquina from 15, 10, 5, yeah. and so. Touchdown, Titans! Oh, goodness! Return to center! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's hell yes! Yeah. Key to that Tannehill performance, Tennessee quarterbacks have faced pressure on 38.2% of their dropbacks. That's high. Tannehill last week only faced pressure 16.2% of his dropbacks. Tannehill over the middle. He's got his man for a first down. A cut blow. Still going. Down to the 20. It would be surprising to see Tannehill with that much time again. The Packers are a blitz-happy group, sending extra heat almost 40% of snaps. That's helped them pressure QBs over 30% of the time. Prescott in some trouble and just trying to get out of the end zone when he does. Does their heat always lead to good pass defense? Not always. Packers did allow C.D. Lamb to get him for 150 yards. They gave up three touchdown passes to Dak Prescott. Fake it to Pollard. Back to throw. Deep left. Lamb. Ten. Five. Walking in. Touchdown. C.D. You talk about pass protection, wow. But they also picked Prescott off two times, held him to under six yards per attempt, and a rating under 80. Their 2022 season numbers, sub-90 rating allowed, holding QBs to a sub-seven yards per attempt figure. Solid stuff. Prescott looks, steps, throws it over the net. Intercepted again! It is Rudy Ford again! This game seems like one of the hardest to pick this week. Let's see what y'all got. And let's see what our panel got.